on this episode of Bass to Billfish. Peter is in Miami, Florida with his daughter Emily and special guest Nathan Toberman. Oh God! You got a workout? I'm on fire! Don't let their age fool you. These two avid anglers may be young. Is he swimming in the bay well again? Yep. Nathan, get a snorkel. But Peter and his teammate Cap Hinckley We've won the World Sailfish Championship and like 20 other tournaments together. Are looking to put them on some trophy species. Good job! Woo! That's the one we've been looking for, guys. Florida, the fishing capital of the world. With over 2,000 miles of pristine shoreline, join three-time World Sailfish Championship winner and pro angler Peter Miller as he takes these lucky winners on a once-in-a-lifetime fishing adventure. From freshwater to saltwater, ocean to Everglades, come join us for a fishing experience like no other. This is Florida's Bass to Billfish with Peter Miller, presented by Yellowfin and by Florida, fishing capital of the world. Must be the sunshine. Here's the cool thing about this show. I had a seven-year-old boy write in. He wrote me a nice letter. Hi, what's your name? Nathan. It said, my name is Nathan Toberman, and I love your show. I'm a huge fan. I hope you write me back. I'd love to be on your show. I took a picture of it, and I posted it on Facebook, and everyone's like, you got to pick this kid, and maybe you should have your eight-year-old daughter to join him, and they could fish together because they're a similar age. I was really excited, and I'd been waiting because, you know, my brother was on it, and then I was like, why can't I be on it? First show with my daughter in it, a seven-year-old guest, it's going to be perfect. I'm hoping to fish with you. Pick me. Bye. I met Nathan for the first time over at Bass Pro Shops after he flew in. Is that Nathan Toberman? Hey, I'm Peter. Nathan. Nice to meet you. This is Emily. Hi, Emily. He was, like, really nice. He, he was just really great. Well, this is your first time at Bass Pro Shops? Second time, I think. Well, I have really good news. Yeah. I have a gift card for you and for Emily. Take a guess. 250 You got it. Look at that. Yay. I was really excited for getting that that much money on a card. $250 gift card. I got one for you and one for you. And I really want to shop with it all by myself with Emily. Right away, they decided that they both needed brand new fishing rod and reel. I'm looking for a nice rod that it can bend easily for a, for a nice size red flush or a flounder. Okay. I'll take this one. You like this rod? Yeah. Man, you're an easy shopper. Look at you. Have you looked at the price, mister? No. This guy's already buying everything. I mean, he doesn't even know what the price is. What's it say? $89.99. $89.99. $90. Yeah, 90 bucks. One of the Bass Pro Shops employees came over to help us. He's helped me many times before. The guy knows his stuff. This guy is looking for a fishing rod, and she's looking for a fishing rod. So we found a couple of really nice rods for the kids. Hey, look at this one, Nathan. Hey, somebody hold it. Anthony, can you give him a little fish action there? Nathan grabs a rod, and immediately I knew this kid's for real. <laughs> look at him cupping the spool. Seven years old, cupping the spool, pumping hard. This guy knows what's going on. Kid's a moose. Is this six dollars? No, <laughs> no. <laughs> Did you scratch the one, the one, uh, two off? It's hundred twenty dollars. They each got the same exact setups. You guys want to go for it? Yeah. All right. Well, we can leave the rods with Anthony. He could put ten pound Power Pro on them. Guys, we need anything else? Sandals. Okay, let's go find sandals. Come on, Nathan. <laughs> We're going sandal shopping. <laughs> Emily is kind of obsessed with sandals. They practically do fit. <laughs> <laughs> she's a young girl, she's kind of fashionable. Time for a fashion show. Those have heels on them. Awesome. Yep, she's my daughter. Why don't we go uh, get our rods, we'll go pay for everything and get out of here. We'll be ready for fishing tomorrow. Yeah! Uh-huh. Look at that, we're all done with the rods, guys. There's yours. We had a great time at Bass Pro Shops. We spent a lot of time there, but we're ready to go because we had a big day ahead of us. We're going to be fishing all day tomorrow. Yay. Okay? Yep. Hey, look who it is, Emmy. Next morning, Nathan came down to the boat, and I was kind of getting things ready. I have a couple of extra gifts for you and, you and Emily. Kershaw was kind enough to provide both kids with these new pocket knives. Have you handled a knife before? Yes. Yeah? It's not very often you give, you know, a seven, eight-year-old a pocket knife. See, this is super sharp here. Oh, gosh. And then when you want to close it, you just pull this with your finger, and you close it. Those knives come super sharp. Mm -hmm. 
Hey guys, you know who Cap is? Our captain for this grouper mission that we're about to go on, his name is Cap Hinkley. He is a world sailfish champion. We fish together on the Get Lit Fishing Team and we've won the World Sailfish Championship and like 20 other tournaments together, but he also runs a boat called the Cutting Edge out of Key Biscayne, MiamiCharterFishing.com, right? Yes, sir. He runs that boat along with the captain on my fishing team, Captain Quentin Dieterly, everybody. You've probably seen him in an episode of Bass to Billfish Catching Sailfish. Good. Going to get him? Yep. Yeah. yeah, man. Okay. What do you think? You think we're going to get any bites out there today? Going to get him. It'll be a big day. All right. Yeah. We got about a three mile run of the spot. We're gonna set up in about 12 feet of water. We're gonna anchor the boat and start chumming with the chum bag and with live pilchards to get the groupers kind of riled up. I like grouper, they taste so good. We gotta try this out first to get them going and then we'll get you set up. A lot of times the first couple of grouper you catch are gonna be the bigger ones and kids at that age, seven, eight years old, wouldn't be able to handle the bigger ones. So Cap hopped up there and threw a bait out. Oh, Cap's got one on guys. Oh, look at that. Come on Cap. What do you got? Oh, it's a good run. And he hooked up instantly. Cab's got him on. Coming up next on Bass to Billfish. Nathan Toberman, Emily Miller. This is the famous Kerry Chen. Nice to meet you. We wound up getting fish after fish after fish. Good job, Emmy. Peter Miller is in Miami, Florida, fishing with his daughter Emily and special guest Nathan Toberman. $250 gift card, I got one for you and one for you. After stocking up on supplies at Bass Pro Shops. He needs the multi-rod, the rod that can catch everything on the planet. Kid's a moose. Captain Cap Hinkley has put the gang on a lively grouper bite. Oh, Cap's got one on, guys. Oh, look at that. Come on, Cap. When you get to a wreck like that in the bay, a lot of times the first couple of grouper you catch are going to be the bigger ones. You use 20 pounds of drag and you want to rip them off the wreck. Cap threw a bait out and he hooked up instantly. Cap's got him on! You got him away from the wreck yet, Cap? Yeah. Yeah, you want to net it? And Nathan's like, where's the net? Where's the net? That looks like a nice one. He kind of had the net a little sideways on the fish and he was just as amped up to net that fish as he would have been to catch it. All right! Good job, guys. So we had our first fish in the boat. Instant success. Are we keeping this one? No, this guy's a little small to keep. Yeah. All right, guys. All right, guys. Let's say goodbye. Goodbye. Bye, Bye Fat Belly. Right after that, the bite was on. That one. Oh, you got a nice yeah. blue runner. I got there you one. Go. I mean, you got a bite. Uh, there's some fish oh. around here. Look at him. He's puffing up. He's puffing up. Look. 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 <laughs> oh, that's a Jack Cravel. So Good job, buddy. So this spot was absolutely perfect. Grouper, snapper, puffer fish, jacks, jack cravels, pinfish, you name it, we caught it. Pull it away from there, Nathan, what do you got? Everywhere I look, Rod's been, I got another one. He's like, this is the greatest day of my life. It felt like there was like a 45 pound jack cravel. Get him, Nathan. Wait, it's like a little blue runner. Oh, God. You got a workout? I'm on fire. <laughs> As I was reeling it in, I the rod just bent over right away. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I thought it was gonna like gonna be a shark. Okay, what? Pull up, pull down. Remember, up and then down. It was heavy, and my dad had to help me just lift the rod a couple times. We gotta go over raise head. Help, help. You we gotta go over raise head. Come on this side. We were all over the place. There's a lot of chaos when you have a big fish with a little rod with an eight-year-old kid. Pull up, and then down. Good, now you got it coming, Emmy, I think. She wound that thing in virtually by herself. Yeah, that's it. And when that thing surfaced around the side of the boat, I think we we're all in awe. It's a nice grouper, Whoa, that's a keeper boy. grouper. Oh, God! I was surprised that she can reel that thing in, that it took that much line out. I was impressed. Watch the net, Emmy. Whoa, that's right. Net, get in the net, pull it up, upside down. Oh, God. Pull it up. That's a fat Nathan, guy. Around the side. Oh around the side. Woo, let's keep it. I was like happy that I caught dinner because I've never caught dinner before. Let's keep it named Jimmy. <laughs> I'm going to name it Jimmy. That's probably the biggest one I've caught. That is a grouper. I don't think I've ever caught one that big, Emmy. <laughs> I caught oh, dinner. 
Let me see this thing. It was like a 15 pound gag grouper. You guys make such a good team fishing, I can't get over it. I see how you feel, buddy. Like every time you catch a fish, then you're like gonna wait like 50 hours. Who cares? And then you like still wanna catch another one. Right? Exactly. When you have a kid that wants to fish and you love fishing and you love your kids, it's like the perfect thing. Oh, oh my god. god, you got another Daddy, moose. I'm falling! <laughs> You got another moose, there he goes, whine, whine, whine. <laughs> Normally, she asked me, help me out a little bit. This is heavy duty. She's like, not today, buddy. This is all me. Come on, Emmy. Oh, gosh. I don't think it's a grouper. It's a nice mangrove. Swing right to Papa. Here. <laughs> <laughs> like, I just started reeling, and then it finally came into the boat. I caught more dinner. I caught more dinner. <laughs> what are you, Eddie Murphy? You couldn't ask for anything better. You're with your kids the outdoors experiencing the best that, you know, the earth has to offer. And for me, that's fishing with my kids. This is a sandwich for, for two. So we had a great time, but it was time to pack up. I figured we needed some lunch, and we we're gonna head into my buddy's restaurant, Scotty's Landing in Coconut Grove. Going there by boat is really the way to do it. You pull up, you tie up, and you literally step 10 steps, and you're sitting at the table having a fantastic hamburger, chicken sandwich, cold drink. It's a perfect way to break up the day, especially when you have kids. Coming up next on Bass to Billfish. Okay, hold on, <laughs> hold on. I just just relax. You haven't caught it yet. How many fish have you caught today? I'm not keeping track. Really? Oh! Yeah, baby! Yeah! Bass to Billfish with Peter Miller. Peter Miller is in Miami, Florida with his daughter Emily and younger guest Nathan Toberman. Oh, God. You got a workout? I'm on fire. After going out and catching a variety of inshore species. I don't think I've ever caught one that big, Emmy. <laughs> Peter is meeting up with a special guest to help out with a unique activity. The activity for this show is very unique. Nathan Toberman, Emily Miller, this is the famous Kerry Chen. Nice to meet you. I called a good friend of mine, Kerry Chen. He's a very well-known marine artist. I'm gonna show you today how it's done. Look, but look, it's all blank. There's nothing on there. So we're gonna start from scratch. He came down to the house with two canvases and an easel. He gave the kids an art lesson, which I don't think they'll ever forget. Why don't we uh, sit around and uh, Let's start. He was really awesome helping us out painting the fish. What I'm going to do is draw the fish. What was really cool about this activity is that the kids were actually really painting with Carrie. Right. That is great. Awesome. It's one of the coolest things I've ever seen. I wanted to be a part of it, but I was just an onlooker. It's cool. You got it. I thought it was really amazing because, you know, my best talent is art. Also singing and dancing, but I love art most. Yeah, just like that. He was really awesome that he'd been helping us out. We did some details. A few hours, that's not too bad, though. That's incredible. What was really cool is they got to sign the canvases with Carrie's name on them. So now they each have an original piece of artwork that Carrie Chen made with them. It's unbelievable. What do you say to Carrie? <laughs> You're welcome. You know, it's one thing to be a fantastic artist, but to be able to take the time and do this is really, you're a special guy, man, and we appreciate it. Great job, guys, great job, way to go. Oh, guys, my friend Blair, he was kind enough to uh, offer us a little uh, free time on his lake. Nathan had never caught a peacock bass. He's never even fresh ordered fish for that matter. We got a live well full of shiners, and this lake is filled with peacock bass and largemouth bass. So this is a perfect opportunity to introduce them to a whole new world of fishing. Some of the best fishing around. Let's go for it, guys. Well guys, this is a perfect spot. I've been in this area before catching the peacocks. So we're gonna throw a couple shiners on and we're gonna cast them around the docks. And right here, there's a big rock structure and there's a drop off and the peacocks like to hang right in this area. I was really excited that we were gonna go bass fishing. And I, I was the first one that caught a peacock bass. Yeah. I got a peacock oh, you got bass. one, you got one. You got a nice peacock. A nice peacock. one. 
It really felt like it was really a nice fight with the peacock. Nice job. Congratulations, My first peacock. Dude, yes. first awesome. peacock. Good Give me job. five, bro. And he was very excited about little fish, big fish, doesn't matter. Look at this guy, huh? Cool, man. Good job, bro. Back in. Yeah, you can put it back. Right after Nathan's peacock, Emily gets picked up, drops back. Emily's got one on, guys. Pull up, Emmy. Pull up. Oh, it's a nice one. Go around the other side. Large mouth bass. Swing them in. Swing them in, Emmy. Swing them in the boat. The guy just started reeling and then it finally came into the boat and it was big and fat. What's up? Woo. Look at that. You can put him back on this side. Coming up next on Bass to Billfish. The bite was just on fire. There it is. Another peacock. It's my best day. Oh my god, Emmy. Oh god, I was like a seven or eight pounder. Peter Miller is in Miami, Florida on a kid's getaway with his daughter Emily and special guest Nathan Toberman. Look at this guy, huh? <laughs> After buying some new tackle, it's $120. The gang has already landed a number of unique species. You guys make such a good team fishing, I can't get over it. Now, Peter has put them on largemouth and peacock bass. We had the 17 yellow fin with a mercury engine on the back. We had about 100 shiners. You know, Nathan and Emily, they already have it figured out. I mean, almost every cast, you're getting a bite. That is a nice one. Whoa, he's a jumper. We wound up getting fish after fish after fish. Good job, Emmy. We caught double header peacock bass, double header largemouth bass. The kids are posing with them. <laughs> oh, yeah. It was literally a feeding frenzy. The bite was just on fire. There it is. Another peacock. I really like the bass fishing because I never caught a bass in my whole entire life. Oh, yeah, Nate Dog. Oh, God. Whoa. How many fish have you caught today? 16, 14. Uh, I'm not keeping track. These kids were treated to the most amazing fishing that there is anywhere. It's my best day. Best day ever? Yeah. Get it, get it, Emmy, get it. Emily had a peacock bass on, and while she was fighting it, two largemouth bass came up and almost tried to eat her peacock bass. Holy! Whoa. There's a five pound largemouth that just chased us. I remember that spot, I'm like, we gotta get a fish out of there. So I wind up casting there, and I hook up with this fish, and I was freaking out. Oh my God! Stay calm, Peter Miller, or you will have a heart attack right now. Oh, God, a five-mile pat. A what did you just say? A five-mile pat. A five-mile pat? No, a five-mile bass, This I is said. a big mama right here, guys. And I bring it over to the boat, and it's probably like a four-pound large mouth. Oh! Yeah, baby! Yeah! And I'm like, yeah, I couldn't believe it. Oh, crap, that thing is huge. That's like bigger than Peter's head. No, my head's pretty big. You guys all know that. It's pretty big. Wow! But I still knew there was a bigger bass over there. And Emily takes this gigantic cast over there, starts cranking in a little bit, lets it sit, and all of a sudden she's like, Daddy, I got one. Oh yeah, up high, down low. Looks like a nice one. Oh my god, Emmy! And the thing comes up, she's like, it's Moosey. Easy, it's Moosey, <laughs> it's Moosey. So we get the fish close to the boat, and I'm panicked. Daddy! <laughs> Daddy's having a heart attack again. Daddy. Everyone relax. I think I'm talking to myself, but relax. You caught the moose, but you haven't caught it yet. Come on, bring it up. Wind a little bit. Up high. Oh, oh gosh, I just... There you go. Bring it here, bring it here. Winds it up. We lift that bass, and it was like we just scored a touchdown. Holy shnikes! Emmy, that's a six-pounder. She did such a great job on the fish. So proud of her. That's the one we've been looking for, guys. I'd never seen her, you know, want to fish with such passion before. That got me totally pumped up. This fish has been working hard, making a nice nest, getting ready for the babies. Good stuff, guys. It was our first try at having a young kid on the show, and it worked out really, really well. I think in the future, we're gonna try to do that a little more often because it was a giant success. The experience was like really exciting that we got to go bass fishing, group of fishing. I enjoyed it because I got to spend time with my dad and I got to spend time with Nathan and get to know him. I didn't know what to expect with all the cameras, but the kids were totally up for the challenge. They were amped up, energetic, so into it, I, I couldn't ask for more. Go to BassToBillFish.com and find out how you can audition to become the next guest on Bass to Billfish.
The Bass to Billfish mobile app is here. Go to BassToBillfish.com to get your free app today.